Hi, I'm Angie and um, yeah, I make my chocolate from scratch. Um, if you've seen a couple of my videos and you probably know that. Um, and I have a new origin from Trinidad and Tobago. Um, yeah, I source my cocoa from all around the world and this time um, yeah, I found this really nice cocoa. Um, yeah, the chocolate tastes like blueberries, like caramel. It's a really, really nice chocolate. Um, I made a 70% um, dark chocolate out of it and it is really light. Um, so I thought um, I need a new design and a very light design. So I thought about like different colors and maybe do something like a watercolor effect. Um, I will at least try it out. Let's say that because I'm not sure if um, when I'm using my bar molds if this is going to look good and even work out um, as I want it to be. Um, and yeah, so I um, use my airbrush for sure, like the air of it, just to um, spray around the color. And um, I'm pretty sure that I also will use my toothbrush. I'm not entirely sure if I will use the manual one or uh, my electrical, because the electrical it's kind of hard to um, yeah, get the colors into the right places because there's not so much control with it. Um, but yeah, we give this a try. Um, what else? I think that's it. So we're also going to use a couple of really light colors and let's do this. And here we go. So those are uh, my, my chocolate bar molds I want to use today and I get them from Chocolate World. Um, I have a link down in the description below just in case you're interested. Um, yes, and the first thing we're going to do is um, polishing our molds because we will not get any um, yeah, shiny and glossy bonbons um, or chocolate bars if we don't um, yeah, remove excess um, yeah, chocolate or colored cocoa butter from our, um, yeah, from our molds. So that's why we need to polish them. Now to the colors I want to use. Um, I'm using a pale green satin um, and they're all coming from Chef Rubber today. Um, a blue moonstone, a gold, prana purple, and uh, yeah, um, this is a rose. Um, I'm not sure if it's a rose pink, um, but it's a rose color for sure. Um, and yeah, uh, the label looks like this uh, because I like to heat them up in a hot water bath. Sometimes I'm also using my microwave, but um, yeah, usually I use my hot water bath and that's why the label look like this. <laughs> Yeah, and so um, now I'm getting all of those um, heated up so we can use them. And yeah, then we move forward. Okay, I'm going to start with a drop of my pale green. I think that's too much. Hmm. Yeah, that's way too much. That didn't work. So that's not a look I wanted to create, so I'll clean that off. Let's try this again. This time I'm using this thing from my, uh, what did I bought? It was like a nail polish kit or something. Let's see how it looks when I only use a drop. That was better. Now I'll try a couple of more colors and just try to create a really fun watercolory pattern. Let's do the moonstone. So now we have our pink um, and next thing will be our purple and then a gold. Mm -hmm. 
and yeah it depends a little bit what you want to achieve so if you want to create a little bit more depth i would say um yeah start out with the lightest color and then go to the darkest so in our case today this would be our prana purple so the next color is our gold and it will be our last color uh, where i will use uh, the airbrush Done with my airbrush. We've got really nice ombre effects here and there. I really like the colors, all good. What I want to do now is either use my um, toothbrush or my electrical toothbrush and make some sprinkles. So what I really want is um, yeah, spreading out the sprinkles now to the end. So um, you see that I focus all of the colors here in this uh, left corner and I really want some sprinkles down to the right corner. I don't know if this makes sense and I don't know if I can make it like I want it um, but I really want to try it out. I'm not sure if I have better control with the electrical or with the manual um, but yeah we'll figure it out. And I only want the sprinkles, well I thought I only want the sprinkles with the gold but I already have like a lot of gold so I'm not sure anymore but we just start out that way. Okay, let's see how this works. Okay, I'm starting with my favorite. All right, let's do this. Oh yeah, that's cute. Let's see if I like that. Yeah, I think we need more colors. Let's also do the pink and the green with the toothbrush. I would say that's it. I think I don't want to do more colors. I think I will just temper my chocolate now. Fill my molds. Let it cool down. And yeah, then we'll see the end result. Oh, this is exciting because I really like this right now. But sometimes if I really like something while I'm making it, it looks horrible in the end. Um, cool, I'm excited. Let's temper chocolate. Good. Chocolate is tempered and now I'm just filling my molds in a very awkward position. Um, and the last one. Here. All right. Now I will just knock out some air bubble bubbles and that's it. So now this goes into the refrigerator for like 30 minutes at least. Okay, we are ready to turn them over after 20 30 minutes in the refrigerator. Not too bad. Um, oh, I like this one. Oh, here's the camera. <laughs> um, I'm just thinking, you know what I'm thinking? Okay, this is a little bit embarrassing. Um, I wanted this part to be on this side, and I didn't think about it when I was um, painting the mold. Um, because I was coloring over here all of those corners 
next time I need to make sure <laughs> that I paint this corner. I didn't think about it at that time, but yeah, sure, it makes sense. Okay, cool. But I mean, it's not that bad. I like it. And I also think, um, yeah, I got this watercolor y effect. Not too bad. Yeah, I think that's something I can work with and uh, build onto. That's really cool. Thanks for watching my video. As always, I hope you liked it. Um, and yeah, if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can find me at Chocolate Spiel. You can also um, leave your questions down in the description below. Um, there you can also find some Amazon affiliate links of the tools that I'm using. And yeah, that's it. Have a great day. Bye.